the centre, gathered by McLean. McLean into the pocket, good pass, finds Collins inside 50 metres, and they're yet to kick a goal. Collins puts it high in the air, good looking kick, is a goal. Low and Cousins, Low gets the tap out, it's a good one to the back, Athorn, McGuinness, half back, McGuinness, short kick, out towards the wing, Nickel leaves it for Royal. Royal over the top has Hogg. Hogg near the centre. Thumps the ball towards half forward. It clean bowls everybody. Beasley, intelligent football. Collins, can he gather? The first attempt would have been great. He shrugs the Sheldon tackle and Collins bangs it away for goal and puts it through. Coglin, 35 metres out. Grant, back to Coglin. St Kilda just barrelling it forward. Nicky Winmar but couldn't grab it. Gotch now. Post a goal. Snaps and kicks it. He did it by keeping his feet on the ground. The kick in towards the centre. And a spectacular mark. Beasley can't mark. Hawkins overruns it. But he's composed. Handball to Collins. Collins will shoot for goal from 30 metres. Will it go through? It'll be kicked through by Nickel. No, it won't. It may have even rolled through. It's a goal. On the 50 is Corker Mealer. So it went for fancy stuff there. Dwyer off the ground. Great mark by Grant. This should be a goal for St Kilda. And Grant makes sure of it. Windmar at centre half forward. Goes for the thumping drop punt towards full forward. Low time mark at the back box. Goal to St Kilda. Nickel doing the ruck work. Collins again, no, McPherson, goal. Comes to Dwyer, sweeps the hand pass to Jones. Oh, he let them run past him, Bob Jones. Up to centre half forward, low again. He'll take 20 marks if he keeps this up. Low, around onto the right foot, up towards full forward. Great punch away by Ford, good defensive tactics. Burke, clever, gets the kick away. Here's a goal coming up, Daniel. Yes. Today's game is a part of the Elders IXL 1988 BFL Premiership season. So to three-quarter time, it had been close all the way. Footscray leading by nine points at quarter time, five points at half time, and by just eight points at three-quarter time. A low-scoring affair, just 11 goals kicked between them. So we came to the final quarter and the four premiership points were certainly up for grabs. We pick it up with 21 minutes to go and with me in commentary, Ian Robertson and Malcolm Blight. Steve Wallace, spinning and weaving, holding the ball, says the umpire. I'll give you one spin but not two. Free kick goes to Evans. Evans for St Kilda in short. Good kick, Elphinstone. Just moving around a little. Poor kick though. Messed it up, Ford. Back into the centre. Mark messed up by Jeffrey. Goes after it again and shrugs the tackle well. Dashes goalwards. Kicks it towards centre half forward. And a mark has been taken by Rice. Rice plays on around the corner. The Saints are on fire. Into the forward pocket area. Matthew Hogg inexperienced. Athorn inexperienced. Hogg's got it back again. And the umpire decides on a bounce as the two youngsters in the back line striving hard. Dixie, you've got a report on Michael McLean. Yes, I have. Michael McLean hobbled from the ground in a lot of pain and he's injured his right knee, which makes it a matched pair with his left. I suggest he won't take any further part in this game. There's Coglin for St Kilda, the hand pass up in the air. Bit of basketball going on there. Cousins missed it. Tunnelled by Evans. Well, well played by the first gamer, Irvine. And Footscray out of defence through Steve Wallace. Up short of the wing, Davies. Good play, but Footscray haven't been forward of about centre so far in this final quarter. Nickel dives. Former VFA Premiership player, tunnels it out. Terry Wallace after it. And puts it back in the path of Ford. Ford up towards full forward. Beasley with Frawley. Bit of a wrestle going on. It's a free kick to Frawley. Advantage play, quickly taken by Sheldon, and he followed. Mark taken at half back, and the St Kilda player knocked over. A report coming up here, and it's Peter Foster. Oh, no, did the book come out or not? No, it didn't. I thought it was for a moment the way the umpire ran in. Well, he doesn't need another.
another report. He's just back from three. Well, it was very similar to that incident in, at Carrara, actually. Gotch, kick into the centre. Loose player, Cookamilas. Great kick by Gotch. Cookamilas ran onto the right foot. Up towards half forward. Can the Saints take a mark? The ball at half forward. It's been repelling back, and it has again. Ford towards half forward for the Bulldogs. Foster. Tremendous mark by Foster. Look quickly, and he does. Wide to half forward. The player streaming forward is Steve Wallace. He goes for goal. And misses. Hits a behind post on the full. Free kick to St Kilda. Well, we haven't had sunshine all day, and then Steve Wallace had to run into it to kick for goal. The kick out by Frawley to half back. No mark taken. Play on. Daniels. Short kick is good. Gotch. Grant. Close to the centre. Wide. It's a beautiful kick by Grant. It finds Elphinstone. Opposite wing. Elphinstone's kick up towards full forward. Good play by Eppleston. Backing up his captain. Oh, now silly play. Winmar does the gathering. Ball runs free to the back. Kennedy tidies up. Out wide to the wing and Wallace takes the mark. And St Kilda's golden opportunity. Messed up. And what a pathetic effort by Stephen Wallace. Easily smothered by Muller. It was fantastic play by Muller then, wasn't it? Great desperation. The kick was on, but uh, he just saw it quickly. Well, this is unbelievable. We've gone nearly eight minutes in the last quarter without a single score, which typifies the game. Play on here, goes to Jeffrey. Jeffrey to centre half forward. Oh, excellent mark by Eppleston. Has made things really tough today for Nicky Winmar. Done a superb job on him. Eppleston switching direction. Cogman did well to win a ball then that wasn't his. Not too good off the left boot. Chance for Daniels. Hawkins. Wide for Wallace. Let's just go in between the uh, half lines at the moment. Nobody can get a goal. Sheldon well placed. Oh, almost a one-hander. Socket forward here for Footscray. That was by McGuinness. Loping after it was Nickel, and Grant easily took it away from him. David Grant played full forward for most of the game when Tony Lockett left the ground at the 20-minute mark in the first quarter with a sprained ankle, but Grant now back in defence. About 40 metres around from the Footscray goal. They lead by eight points, the Bulldogs. Nickel doing the ruck work. Royal there. Jeffrey for St Kilda. Now a chance for Rice. He gets his kick away, but it lands in the arms of Davies at centre-half forward. There's a short player in. McGuinness, would you believe? 27 kicks and seven hand passes, and he's 28. Could nearly put a nail in the St Kilda coffin. He's played a wonderful game, Tony McGuinness. Played a wonderful game and uh, has run rampant around the packs. And probably agree with you here Ian if he kicks this it's, it's going to make it very very difficult for the Saints to come back I think McGuinness can see the importance too he's taking a lot of time over this kick he punts for goal drop punt offline another behind nine points puts Gray lead by well St Kilda still in it with the chance Sheldon kicks in oh drop short of Frawley McGuinness again well played, Tony McGuinness. He could nearly do a Malcolm Blight and add a Brownlow to a McGarry. Terry Wallace, 40 metres out. Hasn't got the distance. Beasley! Yes! I suppose football's a cruel game, but Ken Sheldon's kick out to Frawley didn't find the mark. And as the ball came back, you see Sheldon here now jostling with a much taller and stronger Beasley. And I guess you could say if the kick hit the mark the first time, that was never on. Well, can Beasley go a long way towards wrapping up the game? He's only about 15 metres out. And at last he's kicked it. Good bounce by umpire Clayton. Cousins gets the tap out. Coglin intercepted by Wallace. Foster's there. Cousins might get the kick away for Footscray. Play on. In the back by Jeffrey. Davies. Royal. Chance for Grant. Oh, Evans is tackled by Wallace. Grant's there to recover. Oh, slips through his fingers. Evans off the ground. Ball wide. Wallace. Steve. Desperate throw for the line. And it goes over. 
the play, half forward flank for Footscray on the outer side, about 85, 90 metres from their goal. This was always going to be a danger game for St Kilda after they put up such a great showing last week against Hawthorne but didn't get the points. And now they've got to do it all again. Gotch, Hogg picks up. Oh, it cops one from Evans and Hogg will take a free kick. The umpire said advantage, play on. Hogg, meantime, is seeing stars. The kick to half forward, all St Kilda. Now the umpire is bringing it back. gets it over the top and it goes out for another boundary throw in Bulldogs by 15 points Jones Davies there can't move the ball on and the umpire will bounce once more centre wing out of side Shepherding in the ruck and the free kick will go to Cousins. Cousins to put Fitzgray into attack. 50 metres up towards half forward. No mark taken. Sheldon. Off it goes to Jeffrey. Off Nichols legs. Frawley out of bounds. Another throw in. Well, St Kilda really need to be attacking now down through the middle and, and unfortunately each time they're getting the ball in defence they're tending to play it wide. I think they've got to start switching play and stretch this Footscray half-back line right open. Well, to put it into perspective, St Kilda need three goals to win in less than 12 minutes, and they've kicked just five goals all day in three and a half quarters. Here's Stephen McPherson, just inside the 50 line. And he's kicked one of Footscray's goals today. And when you consider that they've only had four goal kickers and St Kilda have had four, to actually get on the scoreboard today has been a major achievement. McPherson playing his 100th game. Beasley in the middle of the pack. Climbs where can't mark. Oh, Sheldon happy to rush this one through for a behind. Just as well too because McGuinness was right on his tail. Footscray by 16 points. 12 minutes remaining. Sheldon, you must go up the centre, surely. Out towards the members' side. Comes to the back. This player's played well. Missed it up then. Scooped it back. May have been a throw. Davies, handball over the top. Royal. Shot for goal by Royal. Screamer. Goal. You certainly called it in. There's not a lot of value when you're almost three goals down. And you've got it, whatever breeze there is on the ground, what appears to be. And still to be kicking wide, and really, uh, you know, I mean, I think that that's where Bob Jones really, probably at fault there, he should have just demanded that ball down the middle of the ground. And I think that's just a part of learning, and, and I guess that's what St Kilda are doing, as are Footscray, who have really butted up well in this last quarter. Back in the middle, comes to Coglin. St Kilda rush it forward, but back out of defence by Irvine. Good mark by Grant. Kicks into the man on the mark. Comes back to Grant. Off to Corkamilis. Straight up the middle, Spiro. And he's done that to centre half forward. Win mark. Good mark. No, play on. Been kept out of it today, Nicky Winmar by Eppleston. Once again, Irvine the first gamer. Corkamilis. Back he goes to Frawley. A long way up the ground. Well, he's left his full back post now, Frawley. Winmar. Yes. Now, Nicky Winmar kicked one from 75 metres last week. This will be from 40, and the St Kilda fans screaming for a 50 metre penalty. I suppose Ford really had nothing to argue about, that if he put his fist into the ball, although he did come across the front, wouldn't have been in that predicament. The kick by Winmar is there. That's his first goal for the day. And maybe the Saints could come home with a rush. As 
we look at this again in replay, you see Ford drift across the front of the pack. It was a pretty courageous effort anyhow, but perhaps, as I mentioned, if he put the fist in it, there wouldn't have been an adjudication by the umpire that would have gone against him. I think he had justifiable claims for uh, saying that he got hands to that. Cousins and Jones. Jones can't get it clear. Jeffrey's tackle on Royal was unfair, and umpire Clayton was right on the spot. Free kick to Royal in the centre of the field. Brian Royal, kicker of Footscray's last goal. Kick falls short. Punch away. Back in the centre. Cousins, good gather. Over the top, Terry Wallace. Wide to McGuinness. Handballs to himself. Sheldon pushed off it by Collins. Into an open goal. Collins, goal number three. Yes. again St Kilda just struggling to get that ball out the middle and really with just some great forceful players we watched McGuinness caught with a great tackle Sheldon just brushed off the ball as you called in and and then kicked truly and three goals last week and three goals this week only nine kicked a third of the score it's a pretty important contribution Well, now the margin back to 22 points, and you couldn't see St Kilda getting it up from here. But Coughlin out of the middle, the kick very wide, almost straight across the ground. Rice leads the race. Athorn, number 20, with him. And now it's Footscray's turn to see the ball out of play. That's all they need to do to wrap up this win. True, I think that's indicative of St Kilda. They're really, when they have got the ball out the centre, they had to be forced too wide. I can't even remember a kick out the centre going direct to goals. Some great jostling there by Jones and Cousins. Cousins gathers. Handball back to McGuinness. Kick number 30. Close to the line. Now it goes over for a throw-in. 30 kicks and 8 hand passes to Tony McGuinness. And 3 behind. So a little inaccurate with his goal kicking, but a tremendous performance. Your record could be under threat, Malcolm. <laughs> You've got that to yourself at the moment, but uh, McGuinness might get a brown low to add to it. Near the centre of the ground. Davies, number four. Grabbed when he didn't have it, but got the soccer away. Hawkins, been very quiet today. Davies, centre half forward for Footscray. Oh, crashing through Coglin and wins the free kick with courage alone. He goes straight up the middle, but the kick's astray. Oh, it comes to the back. Chance for Winmar. Still Nicky Winmar. Clever stuff. Didn't get a possession out of that, but beautiful to watch. Daniels, a hand pass away to Elphinstone. It's a bit of a scrap now, and Footscray bottling things up well. Yes, the precious seconds ticked away just then. Bulldogs leading. 22 points, their margin. Ball wide. Steve Wallace to Terry Wallace to Royal. Royal right on 50 metres, up towards full forward. It's at the back of the pack. Grant takes it over. Collins appearing on the scene a few seconds too late and we'll have a throw in about five metres around from the Footscray goal. Footscray lead by 22 points with just seven and a half minutes remaining. Comes down to Darren Collins, the former Magpie, playing his second game for Footscray. Royal again. Across the face. Beasley bounced in and a throw in so still on the forward line for Footscray who led by nine points at quarter time five points at half time eight points at three quarter time and that's been about the margin all day so the 22 that they lead by at the moment the biggest break for the day and with only just less than seven minutes to go well it's a mountainous task for, for uh, St Kilda a few tired guys there young Collins and Bob Jones Jones has been Fantastic in the ruck for St Kilda. And again, he gets another tap out. Goes wide. McPherson's handball over the top. Royal. Handball back. McGuinness. Outside 50. Kicked by McGuinness towards goal. Beasley can't mark. It's at the back. Cunningham flips it behind himself over the line for another throw in. Important touches by Royal in his last quarter again. And, of course, McGuinness just keeps on keeping on in a wonderful game. 
It's Gray, 22 points in front. McPherson shoots for goal and puts it through. Ever so easy for Footscray's 10. The end, but it hasn't been that way all day. Umpire calls for it again and will ball it up in the middle. Also got to hand it to Footscray, Drew. They haven't virtually been headed all day. They've been very, 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 very at it. You know, competitive all day. Umpire Ian Clayton. Oh, um, Ruckman wrestle each other to the ground. Locking horns in the middle. Coghlan, buried. Comes to Terry Wallace. And he was just off as the whistle went. And it'll happen all over again. I think he had another statistic written beside his name, Terry <laughs> Wallace, then, didn't he? A bounce, only a few metres away from the centre circle. Favours Cousins. Hawkins gathers. He's still got it. Now the hand pass to McGuinness. Kick number 32 to McGuinness. Frawley, two on one. Oh, Foster goes for Gotch. Ball at half forward for Footscray. Cunningham can't get it clear. Now Jeffrey for St Kilda. Kicks the Saints into attack, up towards half forward. Comes to the back, Evans can't gather. Now he goes after it again. Eppleston there for Footscray. And we'll have another bounce. Stuart Lowe, who has moved to full forward at the start of this quarter, really hasn't been in the play since. I mean, it's been a bit of a tragedy. St Kilda have fallen down, I guess, around the ball in this last quarter. As Lowe took 12 marks to three-quarter time at centre-half forward. There's Collins away to Royal. Just grab when he was getting rid of the kick. And all he could do was bumble it over the line. Playing out time now. Just over four minutes remaining. And these teams came into the game level on wins. Three out of ten. And I think for the loser, it's going to be too much to bridge the gap. So this is a bad one for St Kilda today. And also for Tony Lockett with his sprained ankle. But they've had such a, a great rush in the last three weeks with victories over two teams in the five and almost a miraculous win against Hawthorne. But they've come to nothing today. Cousins kick towards the wing. Foster and Frawley. Good gather by Collins. Around the corner, up towards Nickel. Nickel and Cunningham. Cunningham's big thump. Lands in the arms of Terry Wallace. Up towards the forward pocket. Good mark to Grant running back with the flight of the ball looking to move the ball on quickly out towards half back the mark taken by Jeffrey Jeffrey short kick Frawley tackled by Royal Royal does well dispossesses the big St Kilda captain the ball at half forward for Footscray and Jones watch that man get up ever so slowly he has been absolutely tireless for St Kilda in the ruck and his legs must be so weary just under three minutes to siren time. Jones gets another knockout. Frawley overruns it, but he's able to paddle it to Dwyer. Good play by Grant. Dwyer. Cook Emilis running through the centre. Up towards half forward. Nearly a mark to Athorn. Rice outside the 50 metre line. Goes for goal. It could bounce through. Great kick by Rice. Goal to St Kilda. His first goal to, to Dean Rice. St Kilda certainly haven't given up. I, I think it's just been the efficiency, perhaps, of Footscray players around the ball. And once again, I hate to repeat myself, but once again that ball's hit centre-half forward for one of the very, very few times with a direct kick to centre-half forward, then a direct kick at goal. But pretty well done in the end by Rice. Two minutes 20 remaining 22 points the difference jones wins another hit out some kill the lead in hit outs 36 to 25 and it's all down to bob jones who's had no help royal off but the umpire says come back and you're right behind the center circle son to take your kick he hasn't done it again anyway very experienced play by brian royal as the seconds tick away to center half forward daniels and Kilda straight up the middle corridor now. Elphinstone at centre half forward, but he stayed behind. And Ford took a good mark. 